Hi, this is Anna Collins of Anna Collins Nutrition and today I'd like to talk to you about omega-3 fats or more specifically EPA and DHA which are the important omega-3 fats. Your body is made of around about 1 trillion cells. Every cell has a cell membrane and its job is to let nutrients and fluids in and toxins, waste products and fluids out. And depending on which fats you eat in your diet, these cell membranes will either work well or they work not so well. And this affects every single aspect of your health in every single part of your body. So what are the fats that we need for these cell membranes to work really well? One of the most important fats is omega-3, or more specifically, EPA and DHA. And these fats are found at their highest level in fish, more specifically, oily fish. So when I talk about oily fish, I mean things like sardines, trout, salmon, mackerel, and fresh tuna. White fish contain a little bit of omega-3, and shellfish contain a little bit of omega-3, but they also contain some more, uh, some less desirable fats. Uh, so it's not a good idea to eat masses and masses of shellfish. Wild is best when it comes to fish, and things like mackerel and sardines are always wild. It's a little bit hard to get wild salmon because it's not in season very often and it's quite expensive. Uh, but wild fish have a better fat profile and they are less likely to be very high in the contaminants PCBs which are found in our oceans and waterways. Uh, the next best thing to wild is organic farmed fish because organic farmed fish is a fitter fish and it lives on a better diet, so you've got better fats in there. And then the next best thing is conventional farmed fish. So things like farmed trout or farmed salmon, they can be high in contaminants, so I don't advise eating them more than about once a week. Uh, so wild is best, organic is next best, and conventional farmed is down the bottom of the list. Watch out for eating too much tuna as well. Uh, fresh tuna contains lots of omega-3, but it also tends to be very high in mercury, which is a toxic metal. So if you eat a lot of tuna, you can get quite high levels of mercury. Fresh tuna contains omega-3, tin tuna contains very little. So it's best kept really to uh, occasional use. Um, so how should you eat your fish? The omega-3 oils, EPA and DHA, are quite fragile. So if you heat them to very high temperatures, they degrade and they're not going to be as good for you. So fried and deep fried really aren't great when it comes to any fish. Cooked at lower temperatures, grilled or poached or baked is always going to be better than fried or deep fried. What about smoked fish? Well, smoked fish can be a really good source of omega-3s and smoked fish will be fine to eat about once a week. Smoked mackerel is always going to be a wild fish, but don't, over, don't go overboard on smoked fish because it can contain quite a lot of salt and it can contain sometimes additives as well. So if you want to decide how to eat your fish, maybe a combination of a tin of wild salmon in the week, maybe some smoked mackerel and then some lovely fresh uh, organic farmed salmon. That's quite a good combination to get about three servings of oily fish in the week. And people that are in top physical condition, really good health, about three servings of oily fish in the week with each serving being at least 120, 130 grams, that's probably going to be adequate for them. If you have health issues or you have an omega-3 deficiency because you haven't been eating it in your diet very much, then you may need high level supplementation for at least 90 days to start getting your body incorporating all those beneficial EPA and DHA into your cell membranes in sufficient quantities. The vegetarians amongst you will say, but what about plant sources of omega-3? And plants, especially nuts and seeds such as walnuts and pumpkin seeds, contain some omega-3 fats. But if somebody's in top physical condition and all their enzyme systems in their body are working re really well, they will only be able to convert a tiny proportion of that omega-3 into EPA and DHA. So it's quite likely that somebody that doesn't eat fish in their diet is going to be quite deficient in EPA and DHA. And remember, in, pers in a person in top physical condition, the conversion of omega-3 from plants into EPA and DHA, it's going to be a very, very low level. So if you're a vegetarian or a vegan, you're probably going to need a supplement. Beware of fish oil supplements because the very cheap ones have not been properly processed. 
fish oil is very, very fragile. When they're exposed to oxygen or heat, they degrade and they become uh, toxic. So if you see a fish oil supplement and it's quite inexpensive, it's going to be a problematic and you'd be better off without it. Fish oils need to be processed in an environment which does not contain oxygen and they need to be processed keeping the oils at very, very low temperatures. And also the companies that make these need to be doing stringent checks to make sure that there are not unacceptably high levels of PCBs and mercury contamination in the fish. So that's my whistle stop tour through omega-3 fats. I hope you found it helpful and I hope to see you again.